Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of these given logarithmic expressions. And I will show you two different ways to evaluate these given problems. So sit back and relax and see how I proceed. In this video, we will cover part one, first method, golden product rule. To watch the part two, please click on the card above or wait till the end of this video. And here is our very first example and we are going to find the value of log of 27 with a base nine and we'll be using this method called golden product rule. Let me show you how we're gonna proceed. First of all, let's look at this 27 which could be written as three power three and nine could be written as three power two. Let's go ahead and just write that log of this 27 could be written as three power three and nine could be written as three power two. And here is our golden power rule. It states that if you have a, this argument which has a exponent m and this base has a exponent n, then you can just move them outside in the front as m over n. So therefore, in our example, this 3 and 2, these exponents are going to go outside in the front, and this could be written as 3 divided by 2 log of 3 with a base 3. Now let's look at this log of 3 with a base 3. We're going to be using this rule. Always remember when our argument and base they are same, it is always equal to 1. And since we have this base and the argument, they are same. So that is equal to 1. So we can write 3 over 2 times 1 means our answer turns out to be 3 over 2. So the value of this given log is equal to 3 over 2. And here is our next example, log of 9 with a base of 27. Once again, we're going to write them as an exponent. 9 could be written as 3 power 2 and 27 could be written as 3 power 3. So I can write this one as log of 3 power 2 with a base 3 power 3. And here is the golden power rule. That's what we're going to apply. Here our exponent are m and n for argument and base respectively. So that means over here these are our exponents 2 and 3. So we are going to move them in the front as a fraction. So I can write this one as 2 over 3 times log of 3 with a base 3. Now let's look at this thing log of 3 with a base 3. As long as these numbers are same, we are going to put it always equal to 1 by using this rule. So that could be written as 2 over 3 and this one is simply 1. So our answer is going to become 2 over 3 and that is our answer. And here is our next example, log of 7 with a base 49. So once again, 7 could be written as 7 power 1, and 49 could be written as 7 power 2. Let's go ahead and write it down, log of 7 power 1, and 49 could be written as 7 power 2. And now we are going to use this golden power rule. It states that whenever we have these exponent m and n for argument and the base respectively you can move them to the front in terms of this fraction m over n and in here in our case our exponents are one and two we can move them to the front so it could be written as one over two times log of seven with a base Seven. And as we can see in our case over here, our base and the argument are same, which is seven. So we are going to be using this rule 
and this is going to be equal to 1 so we can simply write it 1 over 2 times the value of this one is simply 1 so our answer is going to be 1 over 2 and here is our next example we are going to find the value of log of 25 with the base 5 let's go ahead and tweak it a little bit 25 could be written as 5 power 2 and 5 we can write as 5 power 1 so let's go ahead and write it down log of 5 power 2 and over here this base is going to become 5 power 1 and here is our golden power rule it states that whenever we have exponents n and n of these argument and the base respectively then we can move them to the front as a fraction m over n as you can see in our case our exponents are 2 and 1 so we can easily move them in the front in terms of 2 over 1 log of 5 with the base 5 now let's look at this part log of 5 with the base 5 as long as these two numbers are same this is always equal to 1 by using this fact so this could be easily written as by the way 2 over 1 is same as 2 and this is simply 1 so 2 times 1 equal to 2 and that is our answer and here is our next example and we are going to evaluate this log of 1 8th with the base 2 and let's focus on 1 8th I have just copied it down over here let's tweak it a little bit 8 could be written as 2 power 3 so I can write 1 over 2 power 3 and if I move this 2 power 3 on the top so this could be written as 2 power negative 3 so therefore this expression could be written as log of 1 8th could be written as 2 power negative 3 and then with the base 2 and once again 2 is same as 2 power 1 and here is our golden power rule it states that if we have exponents m and n then we can move them in the front as a m divided by n as a fraction and in our case our exponents are negative 3 and 1 so we can easily write them as negative 3 over 1 log of 2 with the base 2 and now let's look at this log of 2 with the base 2 as long as these argument and the base are same numbers they are always equal to 1 by using this rule so we can write this thing by the way negative 3 over 1 is same as negative 3 and this is same as 1 so our answer turns out to be simply negative 3 and here is our final question let's look at this thing log of 16 with the base 1 fourth here I can tweak a little bit 16 could be written as 4 power 2 and 1 fourth could be written as 4 power negative 1 why because 1 over 4 is same as 1 over 4 power 1 and if I move this one on the top that become 4 power negative 1 so therefore I can write this one as log of 4 power 2 for 16 and 1 fourth could be written as 4 power negative 1 and here is our golden power rule it states that if we have a m and n as a exponents of argument and base respectively then we can move to the front and could be written as fraction m divided by n in our case our exponents are 2 and negative 1 so we can move them in the front as 2 divided by negative 1 log of 4 with the base 4 and now let's look at this log of 4 with the base 4 as we can see that we have these same number argument and base so that is always equal to 1 by using this rule so this could be written as 2 over negative 1 is same as 
negative 2 and this is 1 so our answer is going to be simply negative 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye!